So today we're doing our video on Unibright or UBT. This is an ICO that was supposed to happen today, but will be happening tomorrow. I'll explain a little bit later at the end of the video. And they received an 87.5 on my ICO coin sheet. And this isn't a coin review. We're basically going over why I think they deserve this 87.5. Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to All Coin Picks. Today, I'm excited to bring this to you. This came at the last moment. I wasn't going to do it, but since the ICO got delayed, here we go. Before we begin, though, don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. So what is Unibright? Unibright is a unified framework for blockchain-based business integration and a set of applications leveraging this framework. This framework is designed to enable cross-blockchain and cross-system connections, giving enterprises a way to connect different information systems, increasing efficiency and productivity. So their framework consists of four tools. First, the workflow designer. This gives anyone the ability to craft blockchain-based solutions with no coding skills or developers required. They can define business integration workflows visually without coding skills at all. Next, we have the contract life cycle manager. You can transform visually designed workflows into platform dependent code at the push of a button. It generates a smart contract for the most appropriate blockchain automatically. Next, we have the UB Explorer. So this monitors the ongoing business processes across all smart contracts and related systems. It helps present on and off chain data to a useful, easy to understand dashboard. And next we have the connector. Connecting existing IT landscape with different blockchain and smart contracts using a set of predefined smart adapters. Next they have use cases, nine of them to be exact, for their platform to give you an idea of how the platform will actually be used. You can check them out, you can click solution, or sorry, use cases right here and check them all out. This is pretty cool. You haven't seen this on very many other ICOs and I really love that about this. Okay, so enough of the explanation. This isn't the coin review. This is checking out the ICO score sheet. So check out their hard cap, 15,742,000. This is including the pre-sale. So that's actually pretty low. I really like that. You have the possibility of getting a 10% discount if you're in early. I believe it's like the first 25 million tokens bought. Then 14 cents per UBT, which is a great price. I love that because it allows times 10 to be about $1.40, times 100 to be $10.40, which isn't too high. For example, NEO is way up there, Bitcoin, Ethereum. To get times 10 times 100 from at least this price, you have to go way up in price to 5,000, which a lot of people don't see happening, at least anytime soon. Next, we look at the circulating supply and the total supply. 100.5 million in total, 150 million. Perfect number in my opinion, it's why it's green. I love that 100 million mark. Next, their prototype. Yes, it's live and it's a working platform and they have a demo of it on YouTube where Stefan, the CTO, shows different aspects of it. Next, we have the project type. Of course, it's a platform, which we always love to see. Platforms are huge and Lambda, T-Bids at first always seem to make great gains, at least in the beginning, and in my opinion, have some of the best chances to make those times 10 and the time 100 multipliers. Now their impact, in my opinion, could be huge, but I'm gonna keep it high for now just to be conservative. Enterprise integration onto the blockchain will be a big market when mass adoption comes in. Next, their competition ladder. So since they have a platform that's already live, they have a three or they have a super high above average competition ladder just because they already have a working product and they've been been going for a while. Something you rarely see in any ICO. After we see the quality partners, so this is where they don't really do as good. So they're getting a one for this. And it's because if you check out their partners, almost all of them are unknown. Now for their roadmap, they're getting a kind of an average score here because they've already had the live platform and that's usually what I like to look. When is the live platform or the beta coming out? So as you can see, check it out. Within like three months, they have some big things coming. We'll see how much that actually pushes the price. After that, their team, they get a two here since they don't really have any huge superstars, but they do have significant experience. So they have several people that are almost at 20 years of experience in the IT world, which I love seeing and almost makes them a superstar just based off of that. You don't always have to work at Amazon or Google or IBM to have that superstar experience. 
After that, their advisors. They're seeing a two here, but something that really stands out to me and something that really grabbed my attention is Data Dash. So he's the number one crypto YouTuber. Anybody that's watching my video probably knows who Data Dash is. He's it's pretty awesome to see him actually taking an advisory role. I think this is his first one. And I think he could really be a key to the success of this project because he doesn't shill like some YouTubers. He really just educates. And I think that will be what he really does here where he just keeps letting us know updates and why this project is great. Granted, some people might say that shilling. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so after that, the ones that don't really get scored as much, KYC, ZS, whitelist, US is restricted. So if you are in the US, I recommend waiting till it gets on exchange. Hopefully it drops a bit so you can get a good price. Even so, I still think like 30 million would be a great price for this coin. When we do a coin review, you'll see why. Check it out. Of course, do your own research and you'll see why this is such a great, great project. Next, our Telegram was around 9,000 when I set this up. It might be a little higher now, maybe around 10,000 now. Their Twitter followers, a little under 4,000 with around 170 tweets. And their crowd sale was supposed to be today. And they kind of had this blunder where 7 o'clock Central came around. I was on, a bunch of people were on, but their website went completely down at the time the ICO started. So they said they had some attack, they're fixing it, and it's supposed to be fixed, so they basically postponed it 24 hours, so tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the morning, Central is when the ICO will hit. I am personally jumping in this, and I'm actually putting in a fairly big stake because I really like this whole idea. It's almost like a dragon chain competition, and you know I love dragon chain. They have a working product, they got Data Dash, which I think is great. So I'm super excited. The only thing I'm worried about, I don't want to miss out. And I'm a little afraid that they're going to have a gas war. And the way you have to send it is through the dashboard. I don't know how that's going to work. This is going to be an experience. I guess we'll see. Anyways, quick video. That's it. My ICO score sheet, they received an 87.5% as you see here. I'm super excited about this one. I, you know Data Dash is. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a coin review, let me know. And I'll check it out and decide if I should do it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.